Alrighty, so I already, pa I already finished my finals. I literally just came back from school and finished my very last final. And well, I, I, I mean, I'm still waiting for one of my grades for my class, but what the f ever, because, well, I just want to get the story out of the way, and I just want to tell you guys, because I know that a bunch of you guys are in high school, and you guys are doing the finals, and I wish you good luck that you guys passed on the finals. Well, I would say I did, because I mean, I got a freaking B+, plus on like, or should I say, like, a lot of good stuff on the finals. But today I'm going to be telling you guys um, my experiences with the finals. I'm not going to count English. Well, I'm not going to count the English final because I already did that last week, which was an essay. I already got an A- on that. So we're just going to um, skip over to the three main subjects. So first we have math. Now, I'm going to give you guys a buck fifty. I know you guys hate math, but for me, because of my intelligent mind, well, mostly because I'm autistic, I should say, is that my brain takes the takes the math subject exam as a cakewalk because as soon as because as soon as like i get started my brain's like oh look at all these word problems these number problems i can just do this in my head as a ca human calculator and i should say even though i'm very smart i can do problems really well it took me about the whole entire class period just to do the exam. Now, how do schedules work in this in my school? Well, basically, every day is a minimum day except for Monday. So on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday are just minimum days because every class, what you have two periods every day are two hours, so you would get out of 12. Now, on this day, it was Tuesday, and I- Oh my god, do I really have to go over the schedule every time I have to go over subject? Hell no, I'm not gonna go over every subject, I'm just gonna tell that, and we're just gonna move on. But basically, I'm in math class, and I go through, and well, I finish it in like, two hours, but also, yeah, every class is two hours, and I- It lurk I almost, um, wasn't able to finish the test, but luckily- But lucky me, I- I was able to finish the test. So yeah, um, I know that most people hate math, but for me, I don't really like, like math, but for me, it's a cakewalk. Anyways, next is computer programming. Now, the thing about computer programming is when I took the final, which was today, um, it was kind of a really difficult um, final exam, I should say. I mean, there was 25 questions. It was 15 15% degrade. I mean, what's the problem here? Well, the problem here is that Something about this classroom just made it seem a little bit difficult. And what I mean difficult is, is that when my teacher, we're gonna call him Mr. H, I would say he is, he literally has the power of Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Cause I mean, how he looks, he literally looks like he grinded in the gym. But also, as soon as like, if, for example, if Lucario, the Pokemon, were able to go into the classroom, he can literally, he could just immediately sense the aura of in the classroom, just don't mess with this guy. Because so, I mean, sometimes like if some people were to like not do what they're, what they're told, he would just kind of raise his tone like at plus 20, plus 5% volume, for example. He would be at like a 20 volume level and you would just like um, try to follow the directions. But like if you kind of miss something or whatever, you know, you get you get to the point. He just adds like five plus five percent plus to the volume max. But yeah, I mean, I kind of, I guess, I wish. I mean, I wish that I'm gonna pass this because I'm definitely gonna pass this. Well, I hope so. But anyways, time for the last but not least science class. Now, holy sh. This class, I mean, this t this final exam was so long, and I mean so long, had 70 questions. Holy sh**, 70 questions to answer. Now, let me just say, um, it was also a cakewalk. Well, it was it was mixed between easy and hard, so I, you could say a normal level, not like geometry level, f f that. But, um, yeah. I went through this exam, and I should, and I would say that on the first like two pages, I was getting really good. However, on the on the next three pages, 
there were about a pretty a little bit getting more difficult. However, my however because of my quote unquote study I did, I was actually memorizing very well of the answers and put them into like it was a multiple choice test at the time. So I believe so I'm believing that I'm gonna be doing these right. And well at the end of the at the end of the my science hit test, my te- my teacher my teacher gave me like a challenge thing, you know, like the connect the nine dots thing. I tried to do that, but um, I failed. But I mean, yeah, that's how my exam went. Um, I should say, it was goddamn um, torture. I should say, we c- we literally wasn't able to do- go on our phones for the English from like the English period because of the oh, it's class time. You're not allowed to use your phone. We'll go yourself. All right. So, the moral of the story, I guess, is basically, if you want to not fail these assessments, then, well, guess what? Go get your app off of your computer and go study, alright? But they're looking, assuming 